Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. It's so good to see you. You're looking good in those pajamas. But honey, I think it's time you changed out of them into something cute to look appropriate. Uh-huh, I'm talking to you, Melinda. It's about time we switch it up. And I have the perfect DIY for you. So I thrifted this shirt ages ago for one dollar. So this top cost me one dollar. And you're all about economy this year and saving that coit. This is what I made first of all and it's in this beautiful lemon green color. Yes I know my colors lemon green. So yeah it's a really pretty color and I really love the outcome of this top. It cinches in that waist, that non-existent waist. This top will give you a waist and then it's loose and flows out everywhere else. Do you see anything different with me if you notice? Anyway that's a side note. But yeah this top is so cute and you can definitely wear this for winter right i mean if you're not leaving the house it doesn't matter what you're wearing you might as well wear anything okay this is much better than what you're wearing right now melinda i can see you in that beat up t-shirt you've been in for seven days so let's make you a new top so first things first i'm going to seam rip off the pocket we don't need her though i do wish we had space for her and then i'm going to measure from the shoulder to to my V point. I wanted my V to be 10 inches deep. And if you want it deeper, if you want the girls to be out there parading themselves and showing everyone what they're about, feel free to do that because it is your life and you can wear whatever the hell you want. So I marked my 10 inches and I'm drawing straight lines down from the shoulder just to make sure I have a guideline for cutting later on. And now that I have those two lines, I'm going to measure from my shoulder seam to my under boob, where you want the cinching to start. I chose 13 and a half inches. You can vary this as much as you want according to your body type, okay? And then I added half an inch for seam allowance. Seam allowance is important, she is in the chat. And I'm going to draw a straight line across that half inch seam allowance point. So completely ignore the curves, I was trying something, it didn't work out and I decided to go the other way which is joining that 10 inch mark to the edge of the line I just drew okay and once you have both lines you are going to finesse the hell out of this curve let me tell you pull out your best have drawing skills because you will need them. I had to go back and forth and make this curve appropriate and I wasn't following any formula. I did try to erase my mistakes but just like in real life the past never lets me forget. So here we have our shape and we need to cut through the straight line just to get things rolling and to make this look like a nice top. So I cut through the straight line, took my sweet time because I have nowhere to be and once I was done it's time to start cutting out the curved bit so this is sped up this is sped up like I did take my sweet time I was so scared of messing up and I kept getting paranoid that I was cutting through both layers but I was completely fine and I cut out that corner bit you see this corner bit she's a reason you're gonna get engaged so you better hold her close to your heart so I'm just using it as a template on the other side instead of finessing the other curve as well and ending up with a top that looks funny I decided to just use this as a template to draw out my second curve and I was going to have the top of my dreams. She would look nice and professional and no one would know I made this crying at 3 a.m. because that's not your business. Anyway after that I continued to cut around everything that I'd drawn and I'm also cutting around the collar just to get rid of that bulky fabric. She did not pass the vibe check so she's not welcome into 2021 anymore. She decided to have an attitude and she had to go. So once I'd cut off everything, a look at that fabric so toxic she has to go so this is your top now it's starting to look like the top you're making it will make sense bear with me so I got rid of the back tag because I did not need her and now we're going to gather the shoulder seams so that they look cute and I'm taking a t-shirt I like and some elastic and I'm just going to measure out an elastic that's the size of my shoulder I did want this to fit my shoulder a bit but still be loose and billowy and flowy so this is what we're doing cut out two pieces because you have two shoulders if you have 15 shoulders 
cut out 15, okay? You do what you need to do to cope. So when sewing the elastic, sew a few stitches to secure your elastic onto your shoulder seam. And I promise you, sewing elastic is as easy as getting pregnant in quarantine. Honestly, every day I wake up to a pregnancy announcement. But that's none of my business. So to sew the elastic, you're going to really stretch the elastic and make sure she's gathering the fabric, make sure she's cooperating and following your rules. And once that's done, your elastic will be sewn on. I used a zigzag stitch, by the way, Way, in case you're wondering and this is what it looks like on the inside and we are now good to go on the shoulder seams so now it's time to double hem that raw edge because we don't need this to come and block our blessings so we need to contain her with the shirt inside out this is the wrong side up you're going to double hem that raw edge and sew all the way around from one side of your V to the other side don't hem the bottom bit because we're going to do stuff to it later so only from one one side to the other and I just did this so seamlessly you just fold in your fabric once and once it's folded once just make sure to tuck in the frayed edges make sure they're not coming out to talk back to you and your husband and once you fold it over the fabric again just sew your straight stitch and live your best life so this was super easy to do and when I got to the bulky bits with the elastic I made sure to slow down and let the elastic make her decision to leave the relationship because it wasn't working out so I didn't pressure her and after we got over the bulky bits I continued sewing my straight stitch and within no time everything was nice and hemmed so this is my hemmed v-neck look at that she looks so pretty she is ready to slay the year and it's super easy to do so now it's time to do the gathering stitch underneath your booby holes that will cinch everything in and give you a shape even if you don't have one it's okay so to do a gathering stitch you set your sewing machine to the longest stitch length minus five and make sure you have a lot of hanging thread this will help you gather everything and put it in its place so they don't talk back to you that is that no one should talk back to you or talk to you unless they're telling you something that's going to build you in 2021 so just do your straight stitch do not back stitch at any point don't back stitch at the beginning or at the end and if you need to have 10,000 tubs of ice cream as you do this baby girl that's self-care and I approve of it so make sure you also have a lot of hanging thread when you end off your stitching and this is what your stitch should look like it's basically really spaced and it just makes everything so easy to gather so now you're going to measure your under boob mine came to 76 centimeters vary this according to your measurement and now it's time to gather your fabric so only pull on the top thread or the bottom thread pick a battle and stick to it do not try to multitask and be a genius just do one string at a time and I decided to pull in the top thread and you're going to gather this until you have half the measurement of your under boob so for me the goal was 38 I did do the math before I did this voiceover and 38 is half of 76 hopefully I'm still doubting that as I say it so I gathered for a long time and once I was done gathering I had my 38 and I was a happy happy duck and now it's time to move on to just tying off the ends so you do this so that your fabric doesn't move around and your gathering becomes much larger or smaller than you intended to be so this just keeps her in her place and once you've tied the ends off just snip off the excess string and you're good to go so now moving on to the bottom bit I'm going to measure from the middle of my chest to however long I want my top to be mine was 18 centimeters and I added one centimeter for seam allowance so now I'm marking 19 centimeters on the remaining bit of shirt that we have had left and I did this all the way through and I'm going to join the points I actually first of all seam ripped off a button because she was getting in my way and trying to pick fights and now I'm just joining all the points together just to make sure I have a somewhat straight line I honestly doubt this line was straight but I'll take it because this is all I can do it's not much but it's honest work and that's something I can guarantee so now it's time to cut through that line just to get rid of the excess fabric you don't need her in your life anymore anymore you've moved on to a man who loves you and you're happy and you're now thriving so you don't need any toxicity I also seam ripped off those buttons and saved them in case I ever need them and now it's time to make some space for some buttonholes so I decided I wanted more buttons along the bottom of my top but you don't have to do this and all I'm doing is I'm marking the midpoint between the two buttonholes 
So I did it for the first one and this one I'm marking one and a half inches and then each buttonhole was half an inch wide so I just made sure to mark that and this just makes it so easy to sew on your buttonholes. So for the bottom bit, the bottom raw edge, I'm also going to double hem her just to tame her and make her understand that she is not allowed to look at me when she's not giving me anything that's going to build me. So to sew the buttonhole, my sewing machine has a buttonhole foot and it makes life so easy. You basically just turn it on and it sews your buttonhole for you and when it's done it's like ma'am I'm done here is your buttonhole like what but it's not functional we have to open it up so I'm going to put a pin at the end just to prevent me from getting too happy with my seam ripping and then I take my seam ripper and I just rip the fabric in between my buttonhole and once that's done guess what you have a functional buttonhole how simple was that so once this is done I obviously don't need this pin anymore she is fired just like Trump and now we have a buttonhole that looks cute and now I'm just double hemming that bottom raw edge because as I said we want this to look nice and neat and it's essentially the same thing we did for the neckline same exact thing you can literally do this in your sleep as you drunk call your ex you probably shouldn't do that so please don't so I was here I really did enjoy sewing this bit it was just gliding so smoothly and I felt like my life was finally going right for once and this is what the hemmed edge looks like and you're basically done with this bit so my buttonholes are a different color I thought it added to the aesthetic and I also didn't have thread to match so ignore that and now I'm marking a quarter of my under boob measurement and adding an inch for seam allowance so for me that was 20 vary this according to your measurement and I drew a straight line through the 20 centimeter points and this is going to be the cinched in bit you can add a bit more fabric if you want it to be a bit looser it's totally up to you so I'm cutting through the line just to make sure I'm sizing this down and from here it's honestly so easy you're going to take this piece of fabric and put the wrong sides no the right sides together pardon me I am mistaken and misleading you we're putting the right sides together because we want to sew up the sides and close them up and I'm just pinning along the sides doing my best to align the pieces so that they match up I just want to make sure they don't break up so I'm doing my best to make sure they're a fit and now I'm going to sew along the sides using my straight stitch and also overlock that raw edge just to prevent fraying and make sure my fabric isn't disrespecting me and this is what should looks like at this point and remember this bit I hope you didn't cancel her yet because you desperately need her so now I'm going to measure from my under boob to however long I want the top to be so that was 11 centimeters for me and I'm marking that 11 centimeters on this piece of fabric so you essentially want to create that curve I also marked the midpoint on my button placket just to have a guide on how to align this and I'm using this thing this shape as a template to draw out my curve because I just found this to be the easiest way it makes sure everything fits and everything will look seamless so I'm just going to trace out that shape and this took no time at all honestly it just needs you to focus a bit and once you're done crying you can see through the tears and draw out your curve and you will be fine so now that I have my curved bit I am going to join the side seams together so I'm lining them up making sure they're on the same page and they're not bad mouth each other because they are sisters and need to stick together and I also aligned the button placket and folded it in half and this is because I wanted everything to be equally cut on both sides I did not want anyone feeling like they did not belong so I pinned along the button placket after folding it in half and I really did finesse this I wasn't sure if this was exactly half but I knew they'd look the same if you looked at them from a distance no one is coming close to me you have to be six feet away so I drew a straight line to join that curve because the back needs to be straight and I'm essentially going to cut through that curved bit and along the straight line and once that's done you now have your piece that you will attach to your top bit so take out the pins their job is done they are fired with a capital F and this is a piece and it looks 
looks so good. It's been working out. It's been at the gym. It's looking beautiful and we love to see it. So now with this awkward piece, we are just making sure everything lines up. The divorce papers are signed and this is not happening anymore. So this is a piece and now it's time to join it to the top bit that you spent so long making. So I just brought her into the picture. She's now part of the family. And to join this two pieces together, you're going to put the right side to right side. I don't care who you are or what you do. If you don't put those right sides together, you will be crying yourself to sleep. And we definitely don't need any more of that. So right side to right side, as you can see, I'm just lining those pieces up and you can see the wrong side of my fabric is outside. So this means I'm just joining up the right sides together. I know it can be a bit confusing when you're seeing it, but I promise when you do it, you will be the freaking pro. I promise you. So I did this all around and when I got to that curved bit, you'll just fold it in twice and pin it. And now to bring the whole masterpiece together, you're going to sew a straight stitch along the pinned edge and overlock that raw edge and you will essentially be done. They will be together forever. After this tutorial, you will have some emotional stability, so you're welcome for that. And now what you're seeing is two pieces deciding to spend their life together and me sewing a straight stitch to affirm that bond. So I did a straight stitch all the way through. I followed the pins. Once you've pinned everything, it's super easy to sew. And I also overlocked that raw edge using my overlock stitch on my sewing machine. So if I had my serger, I would do this, but my serger sadly passed away and it's time to move on to better things. So this is what the sewing looks like and we love to see a beautiful stitch. Well, it's not the best, but I'm doing my best here. So now it's time to mark out the button points and these are the points where you'll attach your buttons. So I just put the button packet over the other side and marked out four points. And once I had my four points, the pen had to go. I was firing everyone on this day. And these are my points. So this is where you'll attach each and every button. And of course, royalty has entered the chat. I had to use some pearls, honey. And are they real? I will say to you, mind your business okay so I hand sewed each and every pearl they're just four so it didn't take any time at all and I do not enjoy hand sewing but for buttons it's super easy to do even if you can't hand sew you can definitely do this so I did about I'd say five stitches just to make sure the pearls were very secure in the relationship and they were not going to leave me for a sugar daddy so once everything was nice and secure and the pearl was attached and wasn't going anywhere I I made sure to tie off that end at the back because I really wanted her to commit and I kind of had to do what I had to do and this is to make sure she feels safe enough in the relationship to love me unconditionally. So once the end was tied off I cut off the excess thread, repeated this with all the other buttons and once you are done you have your top. Make sure to also replace the buttons on the sleeve cuffs and after that you are definitely done and you are ready to wear this as you strut around the house as you post your picture on tinder hoping to find a suitable suitor that suits the fair lady and binge watch bridgerton and feel like royalty so i'm super happy with this top i love how it turned out and i thought i wouldn't like the looseness at the top and the cinching in at the bottom but it's definitely a vibe i can wear this maybe it doesn't allow for a food baby but we'll deal with that when we get there for now we're going to appreciate the simple pleasures of dressing up when we have absolutely no reason to. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this top and I hope you're going to make one for yourself because I promise you it is super easy to do and you can do this as you cry yourself to sleep at night and at least make that time useful and have a beautiful top come out of it. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed your company. You are really good company. I hope someone has to you that today. You are fabulous and I really hope I see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe, wear a damn mask, and live your best life. See you guys soon. Bye.